For as long as pioneers have been pushing into the wilderness, artists have tried to do the same, capturing the many beauties of the American landscape. For its summer show, the Heritage Museums and Gardens in Sandwich shows us how contemporary artists are taking a fresh approach to landscape painting. Arts editor Jared Bowen has more. In the 20th century, American landscape painting was defined by the stalwarts, Edward Hopper painting rolling hills and crisp Atlantic skies, Marsden Hartley capturing the rugged coast of a moody Maine. His, I think, bring in that element of grittiness that I think is really interesting and challenging in a way. He uses a lot of black paint. They set the scene for the artists to come. And this exhibition of painted landscapes at the Heritage Museums and Gardens shows where contemporary artists have gone, capturing their world today, from bucolic barns to frenzied cities. I never disclose favorites, but I, I think this is my favorite, yeah. one of the most traditional pieces in the show. It's traditional, but it's a little bit emotionally jarring, too. There's something about it that is challenging. Uh, everybody who looks at it tries to figure out there's a, a hooded figure and you can't see a face. So it's not about the person, but it's about the situation. And you realize, okay, it's all about the reflections. And it, it really draws you in. Lauren Della Monica is an art consultant who curated the show here after publishing a book on the subject. She'd been struck by the fact that no matter what her clients collected, they all wanted a landscape. Everybody wants to look at something that on some level they can relate to personally. All of the work seemed to be about that yearning for the healing effects of nature. And in some cases, the paintings connect us. Heritage president and CEO Ellen Spear discovered Della Monica's book and immediately saw an opportunity to connect the work to the museum's painterly 100-acre grounds. We have, over time, begun to cultivate the American landscape aesthetic. The Heritage Museums and Gardens boasts expansive landscape architecture scenic views, and destination-worthy gardens of hydrangeas. We love the concept, too, of forest bathing that you may have heard about. The Japanese call it forest bathing. And just walking outside and feeling those wellness effects in nature change us. They make us happier. They make us less stressed. They help us think. The gardens invite visitors in just the way landscape paintings do. Many of the works find inspiration in the most varied places the orange netting that marks man's intrusion on nature, the sobering sight of the World Trade Center reflecting pools, and a canal so flanked by industry, its waters could be suspect. It's really interesting. When I started looking at a lot of the, the artists in this exhibition, I didn't want every painting to have sky and land with a horizon line across the middle. It became a game for me in a way to figure out, you know, how do we approach the simple meeting of land and sky. All these different artists sort of tackle it a different way. The result is a new American landscape that challenges, that deeply darkens, or that simply leads us down the road we've all traveled. Jared Bowen, WGBH News.